I'm Bishop Tito Zavala, the Bishop of Chile and the former primate of South America. I was born here in this country, Chile, and I met the Lord uh, 46 years ago in the Anglican Church, and I have been Bishop of my country for 20 years. In South America, we have a hero. He is Captain Allen Garner. He, he was captain of the British Royal Navy, and he came to South America around 1820-1830 for mapping to do that work. But when he met our aboriginals in those areas in the south of Chile, in the Patagonia, they were naked, they were of course people without the Lord, and he went back to England and resigned as captain and founded the Patagonia Missionary Society that later became the South American Missionary Society. And he came to South America, the Patagonia, in order to preach the good news of Jesus Christ to the indigenous, the Onas and the Yamanas. But when he arrived to the Big Old Channel, he was surrounded by the indigenous people and he died of starvation. And all their brothers who were in the boat died. He was the last one to die, Captain Gardner. And he wrote every day. In his last word was, all my friends have died. I am the only one alive, but I still have a few days to live. But I don't want to lose my faith. I don't want to lose my hope that they can meet the Lord Jesus as Lord and Savior. Even in death or life, I want to glorify Jesus. If we think about, about the experience of Captain Gardiner, humanly speaking, he had no success. He came to South America, he, was, he wasn't able to preach the good news of Jesus. Without success, nobody met the Lord. But six weeks after his death came a second boat with food. And those people were so surprised to see all of them dead. They went back to England and after that appeared and arose a kind of passion in order to come again to South America and preach the good news and follow the example of Captain Gardiner. And this is the way that the Anglican Church started here. For the reason when, when I am participating of GAFCON movement, sometimes maybe in different countries, in different situations, we don't see the result that we expect. Maybe for some people it will be very complicated to work for Jesus. But never forget, what Captain Gardiner did was to be faithful to the Lord, period. The result belonged to the Lord. Now we have to follow that example. We have to be faithful to the Lord, faithful to the gospel, faithful to the scriptures, and then the result will belong to the Lord. In different parts of the world, in all our countries, we want to be faithful to Him. And then He will be glorified through our lives and He will be glorified for what we are doing for Him.